channel. This video is going to be my update for my 18 and 2018. I don't know if this is going to be my final update or if I'm going to do one more because I, spoiler, spoiler alert, I have finished 17 items and I'm so close to finished item number 18. Let's just get into it and I'll show you which products I finished and then what's still going on and then we'll go from there. Um, it probably is no surprise to anybody I finished the MAC spiked eyebrow pencil thing last time or last update I did I had like one use left this guy is completely gone I can't twist it up anymore um, it's completely empty and yeah this is it this so far this is this would be item number 15 item number 16 is this Tarte Park Avenue Princess Amazonian clay waterproof bronzer and I had a little bit left in here last time, but now it is completely gone. I will leave my playlist of my uh, 18 and 2018 linked in the description box below, or you can see it on the cards above. Um, I talk about all the products that I had in the pro in the project, the program, and the project, and uh, you know which ones I finished and all that. Or you can just read the description box. I'll tell you which products are empty, and you know. If something was replaced what well, it was replaced by and then the uh, empty number 17 is this hourglass uh, ambient lighting powder in luminous light this guy took me forever to finish like seriously it took forever I was working on this guy um, I want to say for nine months um, I really liked it I definitely do miss it I'm trying something else instead of it right now to see if performs the same uh, this is the little smaller size like the they sell a, this little guy and then they sell the full size the little guy really lasted me a long time so I would highly recommend it I have already repurchased the full size of it but uh, I don't plan on painting that at all and, um, yeah not considering it at all and then the last item that's probably like one or two more uses in it is the Becca shimmer and skin perfector uh, this is the spotlight and the shade is opal um, there's really not a whole lot left in here just whatever's in the bottom that's what it is I have been using like that um, spatula tool thing from Ulta to remove the product and to use it I really like this product I do have a lot of like liquid highlighter kind of thing that I want to go through um, in my collection before I repurchase it it's not like groundbreaking that I would have to buy it like now so that's that so that when I finished that that would make all of the products that I finished well that that, that would be number 18 in this whole project I had wanted to finish 18 products so there you have it those are the 18 products that's why I don't know if it's gonna be the finale or not I do have some products still in this project that I do want to work on I want to get some more use out of and some products are really close to being done so I don't know if I'm gonna continue to work on them and then update you later or if I'm just gonna have this as a finale let me know in the comments below what you prefer um, I don't want to just do an update and nobody really cares about it uh, one product that I'm also super super close to finishing is the Revolution Conceal and Define um, the full coverage concealer I had to take the stopper out because I was getting nothing and um, it was pretty goopy but now it's like I've used enough that it's not goopy anymore there's just a little tiny bit at the way in the bottom of this product um, I do scrape up scrape out the edges when I do need to use it like you know like scrape it so I can get everything out there's not a whole lot of products in here uh, a couple more uses and I think this guy will be gone so there there's that um, another product that I've made some really good progress on also and then I think I can finish very soon is Too Faced Born This Way foundation I am currently at this like the bottom bottom black line um, not a whole lot left in here but I know I use like one pump of this every time I use it so I don't use a lot so that's still probably like a month worth um, 
I haven't been using it for a couple weeks now because I knew that I was gonna finish 18 products anyways so I started working on other foundations or in other projects but I really would like to finish this and get it out of my collection in uh, in 2018 I don't want to move it to 2019 um, another product that I've really made progress on is uh, Urban Decay 24 7 like eye pencil thing this guy is getting really small. I do like to use it. I have been using it in my waterline, so I'm gonna keep working on that as well. One product that I think is about ready to be decluttered is the Too Faced Perfect Black, <laughs> uh, Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in Perfect Black. Uh, this guy has kind of dried out, so it has like separated from the, from the wooden part of the pencil so like the black part separated um it it definitely drags a little bit now more than usual it's not as creamy when i want to use it on my uh eyelid so i don't know if i'm gonna sharpen it and see if i can still like get it to work a little or if i'm just gonna declutter it i'm gonna give it a shot um try it for one or more two uses and if I still feel like it's dragging and it's not really creamy and going on smoothly I'm gonna declutter it okay and uh, one another item that I've made progress on too is the Urban Decay D Slick makeup setting spray the oil control I'm currently at this black line so I have maybe a quarter of the bottle left um I, I I don't find that it controls my oils like I still get oily towards the end of the day but it is a nice setting spray so I, I want to finish it just to get it out of my collection um, yeah <laughs> Uh, next up are some products that I'm just gonna work on I don't plan on finishing in 2018 um, maybe just one of them that I really would want to finish and that's the Laura Geller spackle hydrating moisturizing under makeup primer uh, I can start using this guy again now because the weather has been getting a little bit colder uh, my skin is drying up a little bit more I'm not getting as oily so I can start using this guy up again um, Again, I'm at this little, or the bottom black line on this guy. Um, it would be nice to get it out of my collection before 2019, so that's that. The other products I just want to use, just enjoy. I don't plan on finishing at this point. And uh, the first one is the Vasante Power Oils Lip Gloss, and this is in Super Mom. I really, really like this color. Um, I like the formula of this lipstick as well or like lip gloss I I enjoy it I don't want to like just rush through it and finish it and be done with it I have a Laura Geller baked blush and brighten and honeysuckle I put this guy in last time after I finished my bare minerals uh, blush I just wanted to get some use out of this guy I have used it a couple times since I put it in so I'm pretty happy with that I'm gonna keep keep it in my everyday makeup drawer I still want to use it I have another blush in my um, uh, panning games that's a little too like berry tone for me. This goes really nicely on top of that so I'm going to use it like that. Again, I don't think I can finish it um, in the next three months or anything like that so I just want to get more use out of it. Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Ballerina. I have really, really been enjoying this product. Again, I put it after I put it in this project after I finished Opal. I just wanted to get more use out of it. I do use it occasionally, but I also have two other highlighters in two other painting projects that I need to finish. So this guy is kind of like, I want to play with it. I just want to get some use out of it couple more products I have the AOA studio perfect setting powder I have really been enjoying this since the last update I have been kind of going a little bit light-handed with it I'm not like just baking with it I'm just lightly setting my under eye I like that it brightens so I have been enjoying this guy um, again it's a dollar from shop miss a website I would recommend it um, I, I do I have really been enjoying it okay next up I have bite beauty lip pencil in the shade is 078 I have been using this guy uh, on and off occasionally I have definitely made progress on it 
and this is what it's looking like right now I sharpened it like um, after I used it this last time which was a couple days ago actually I put it on I did not use the bite lipstick with it I used a different lipstick um, I still really like this product so I'm not gonna rush and um, like try and use it up this year I can still use it with any red lipsticks and I do like it last two items I have the bite beauty uh, lipstick and this is in the shade gazpacho this guy I still want to try and finish in 2018 just because I can start to feel the formula changing a little there's not a whole lot in here and like Christmas <laughs> is right around the corner I definitely think that I can get some use out of this uh, in the upcoming months uh, I really just don't want it going into 2019 I've had it close to a year now so they don't last really long I would like to use this guy up and then the last item and I think I'm just not gonna try work on this anymore because I have a couple other lip glosses and project pans that I really need to finish and this is the Laura Geller Color Luster Lip Gloss and the shade is Sugar Cane. I finished half of this product. You can tell I haven't used it in a while. It's settled pretty nicely. I am at this little black line, but again, you can really tell like it's settled really nicely. Um, I don't want to use this guy anymore. I do have a lot of other lip glosses. I mean, I made some good progress. This was a big guy. This was uh, 6.5 milliliters, so it's a big product compared to like, again, compare it to the Vasanti one, which is 2.3, so it's like a third of the size. So I've definitely used enough of this guy that I can be happy putting it away and just working on other um, lip glosses in my other project pans. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Do you still want to see another update on the products that I did say that I do want to work on? Um, try and finish this year, like the eyeliners, uh, the red lipstick, the foundation. Well, there's a couple more that I can finish this year still, but I know a couple more that I just don't really care to finish. I, I do enjoy them in my collection. I want them to be here in 2019 or to be in my collection to 2019. Let me know what your thoughts are, what you think I should do. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to, to check the description box to um, for the playlist for my other updates or for the intro for this project, as well as some other painting projects. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.